Hello, I am Anuj Dugal for the Developers Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. As the home for your memories, Google Photos is loved by hundreds of millions of people around the world. One key focus area for us is how we continue to create truly helpful and compelling experiences for our users to cherish memories with their friends and family. We recently brought our memories feature to Android widgets, enabling users to easily enjoy an ambient stream of photos right on their phone's home screen. To increase widgets awareness, we experimented with a notification campaign that ended up with an achievement of 15% conversion rate, ultimately resulting in widgets DAUs by 10x. Check out the link in the post for more on how we accomplished this and why we believe this campaign was so effective. We launched Google Cloud Cortex framework and our data foundation content so that our customers can accelerate business outcomes with less risk, complexity, and cost. By providing endorsed solution content, including reference architectures, deployment accelerators, and integration services for common business scenarios, Google Cloud Cortex framework helps you kickstart time to value to get up and running quickly with Google Cloud. You can find our Cortex Framework Data Foundation content on GitHub and our application layer specific solution content on Google Cloud Marketplace. To learn more about Google Cloud Cortex Framework, visit our solution page and tune in to our on demand session at our Data Cloud Summit for more about what's possible. The Google Open Source Peer Bonus Program was launched in 2011 and over the years became a much loved initiative within open source. After receiving over 200 nominations from Googlers, we are very pleased to announce our biggest group of winners to date for the Google Open Source Peer Bonus Program. We are honored to present 154 contributors across 29 countries with peer bonuses, representing more than 80 open source projects. Head to the link shared below to take a look at these contributors and their projects. We congratulate and thank them for their contributions to open source. If you are passionate about programming and are ready to use your technology skills to help your community, then apply to be a Google Developer Student Club lead this upcoming academic year. Google Developer Student Clubs are university-based community groups for students interested in Google Developer Technologies. With clubs hosted in 110 plus countries around the world, students from undergraduate and graduate programs learn the latest in tech while leading the community. By joining a GDSE, students grow their knowledge in a peer-to-peer -peer learning environment and put theory to practice by building solutions for local businesses and their community. You can apply to be a GDSE 2022 lead at the links shared here. Looking to grow your coding skills? Good news! Kickstart Round B is coming up on April 23rd. Haven't heard of Kickstart yet? It's a Google coding competition for those looking to practice and get better acquainted with competitive programming. Participants work individually to solve a series of fun, Google-created algorithmic problems in each round. This is a North America time zone friendly round and registration is open. So head to g.co slash kickstart to learn more and sign up or check out G Coding Comps on Twitter for the latest information and updates on the upcoming rounds. Discover some of the interesting features that landed in stable and beta web browsers during March 2022. With Chrome reaching version 100, there are fun, cool, and interesting things that have happened over the past 14 years. Take a look at 100 cool web moments by visiting the link. To learn more about all of this week's stories, make sure to check out the description box below for all the links. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and stay safe. I am Anuj Tugal for The Developers Show. Thanks for watching and we will see you next week. Music system and yeah, let's see what we could do with...